there, students. Mr. Scott here today, thinking about how biographers usually include the people who influenced the subject's life. Before we dive into our text, think about who are the people who have influenced you in your life, and how have they influenced you? Right. That's what we'll be thinking about today as we continue to dive even deeper into biographies. Okay. So we have over here on this chart, we have the title of the biography and the subject or who the biography is about. We have three books that are like this title, subject, title, subject, title, subject of books we have all read. And so as we uh, go through today, we'll read a short excerpt from each of these three books. We'll mention one person who has influenced this subject, and then we'll think about how was the subject influenced by that person. All right. So can follow along here because today, as you read one or two biographies after this, you'll be completing a chart very similar to this. All right. So again, get this chart ready. Again, you can take a screenshot. Or you can also um, copy this down in your reading notebook and get ready even faster. All right. So let's dive into um, thinking about how the subjects of these biographies were influenced influenced by other people and who changed the subjects' lives for the better. So let's think about first Radiant Child, who is in this book is about John Michael Basquiat. All right. So let's dive into a section here, which says. His art comes from his mother, Matilda, a Puerto Rican woman who designs and sews, cooks and cleans, and makes the house look like a stylish magazine. But most important, she lies on the floor and draws with John Michael on his father's old work papers. From her, he learns that art is not only in the poetry books she reads to him or in the theaters and museums they visit, Art is the street games of little children and our style and the words that we speak. It is how the messy patchwork of the city creates new meaning for ordinary things. While visiting the museum, they look at his favorite works of art, reading the story behind each artist, reading the story behind each work. This is how John Michael learns what it means to be a famous artist. So... Who was the person who influenced the subject? Who influenced John Michael? It was his mom. Now, how was John Michael influenced by his mom? Well, his mother was artistic. And she took him to museums to learn. Took him to museums to learn about art. Art and artists. Okay, so this is how, this is who influenced John Michael. And this is how John Michael's mom influenced him. Okay, so now let's dive into Mary Cassatt. Okay. Love this book too. Read it to my kids last weekend. Mary pressed her nose against the gallery window, absorbing pastel drawings by Edgar Degas. A riot of color, she smiled and later said, I saw art then as I wanted to see it. The great Degas rapped on Mary's studio door. Join our band of independence, he proposed. We paint as we please. We break the judge's rules, Mary beamed. I began to live, she said. Mary produced a multitude of prints, etchings, monotypes, working with Degas and on her own. For Mary, art was life. Life was art. So what do we learn about Mary on these pages? And who influenced her? Well, 
the famous painter. What was his name? Edgar Degas. Now, how did he influence Mary? He invited her to join a group, a group of painters. So he invited her to join a group of painters that painted the way that they liked. That painted how they wanted to. Okay, now the last one here. Okay, again, Edgar Degas influenced Mary Cassatt. How? He invited her to join a group of painters. He invited her to join a group of painters that painted how they wanted to. Now the last one here, Me Frida, okay? We have a section here, okay? Again, think about what do you learn about the character? Who influenced the character, the, sorry, the subject? Who influenced the subject and how, okay? So, that night Frida painted something great, a colorful wedding portrait of herself and Diego. She painted Diego big and she painted herself small just as the world saw them. But Frida knew she was more than this, and she put herself first. In the beak of a pink bird, she wrote a tiny note on violet ribbon. Here you see us, Frida Kahlo, with my adored husband, Diego Rivera. I painted these portraits in this beautiful city of San Francisco, California, in April of 1931. Okay, so who influenced Frida? Frida's husband. Diego Rivera. Okay, now how, how did it, her husband influence her? Took her to San Francisco. Took her to San, now for San Francisco, you can sometimes say San Fran, you know, if it's not a formal writing. So he took her to San Francisco, which was a new experience. And he encouraged her to paint in her own style. He also encouraged her. To paint in her own style. Okay, so three examples here, three examples here of biographies and subjects. So again, making this chart, what you will do today is you'll make this same chart and you'll read at least one biography. Now, as you read a biography, again, you'll make this same chart. You'll write the title of your biography. You'll also write the subject of the biography. This is all in your reading notebook. And then the next column, you will write who influenced this person. So who influenced this person? And then over here, you will write how did this person influence the subject, okay? So here's some examples. Again, feel free to take a screenshot if you want. Um, Copy this down in your reading notebook, you know, learn however best you can. So that way today when you dive into a biography, we can dive deeper into who influenced the subject of this biography and how. All right. So this is today for reading. And you know what? Even something you can do after you're done with this reading, maybe in your personal journal, think about again, who's influenced you and how has that person influenced you? All right. And then maybe you can even turn it around, flip it around and think, who have you influenced? And how have you influenced them, right? Because maybe you'll discover maybe more about those people around you and discover more about yourself, all right? So again, have fun diving into biographies today. 
and diving deeper into the people who have influenced them and how. All right, peace out. Peace out.